Hey, you guys, it's Miss Alexander. Today, we're doing Module 3, Lesson 30. It's our first day. Now, please remember, this is in Get Engaged New York. We're going to solve division problems with a zero on the dividend or a zero in the quotient. Now, let's quick review our, our vocabulary words. Sorry, you guys, tongue tied a little. We have divisor, dividend, quotient, remainder. Remember that the divisor is how many within a group. This is how many we're making into a group. And then we have the dividend. The dividend tells us how many we have in all, everything. And the quotient, that is our answer. And it tells us how many groups we have. Now we have the remainder and our remainder are those leftovers, the ones that don't fit into a group. And that's okay. I was a remainder my whole life and it's okay that I didn't fit in and I was okay with that. But sometimes it's nice to have even numbers so we don't have remainders. But anyways, let's keep moving forward, you guys. Let's go look at our example problems. Right here, our example problem, three, 900 divided by 3. So we're going to go ahead and set up our problem, 900. I'm going to jump into my facts because we know we got to do that. Now, remember, there's two ways you can do this. You could scribble it. But being it's facts, I want to make sure I can read it. So I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. And yes, I'm going to quick change it. Don't get laugh at me. It's okay. I like it. It makes it easier for me to see. So I do three times one equals three. Three times two equals six. Now remember, if you do not want to write your problems out because you know your facts, Go ahead and just write down the products of your multiplication problem, which would be your answers, the facts to the problems. And I'm just going to quick get this done. Hopefully I don't mess it up too bad as I'm sitting here talking with you guys, because I've realized sometimes I've made mistakes and didn't realize it because I, I'm talking to you and keeping you guys entertained. But maybe it's entertaining to see me mess up. But that's okay. I'm okay with anything. So right here, as I said, you could always just write the facts. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Only if you know them. If you don't know them, write out the multiplication table. It makes life easier. And it also helps you remember it better. So I'm going to hit save. Now, three goes into nine how many times? Yes, over here I see that it's three times. So up here I in the quotient, I write three. Three times three is nine. Nine minus nine is zero. This is where I feel like I'm done because I have zeros. And zeros usually mean nothing. We leave it alone. But when it comes to division, like multiplication, we have to deal with our zeros. So we're going to bring our zero down. One number multiplied by three gives us zero, you guys. Yeah, zero. Zero times three is zero. I subtract and I bring the next zero down. Yes, in the quotient, I put another zero. Zero times three is zero. And now I subtract zero minus zero. And the reason I do this, you guys, is because three times three is not 900. I need these two zeros. But if you notice a pattern, my dividend has two zeros. My quotient should have the same number. So now I'm going to go in and check. And this is where I like to use the scribble. Only because it's fun. I get to use my finger. So I do 300 times 3. 3 times 0. 3 times 0. And then 3 times 3. What is my quotient? 900, you guys. Yeah. Great job. So now we're going to jump down to our last example. We have 3 into 9,800. Uh, 18. 9,018. My bad. So I'm going to write it out. 9, 0, 1, 8. So I get to go back in my facts. And I'm going to show you what I meant the last time by writing just the facts down. I like it when I get to do both ways because it shows how versatile everything is and it shows that my better kids or it shows the different patterns people can do. 
So right here, all I'm doing is writing in my facts. Now, if you do not know your facts, you should be copying what I did up at the first one. Three, six, three. Yep, I have all of them. I think I did them right. That's exciting. So again, we go three into nine. Did I do check for understand? I did. I need to check my work. Sometimes I forget that, you guys. So three goes into nine. Again, yes, three times. Three times three is nine. Nine minus nine is zero. Again, we bring the zero down. Just because three doesn't go into zero, we know we can multiply it be zero. It's important. So three times zero is zero. I go ahead and subtract, and I got to bring down my one. Okay. Does three go into one, you guys? No. So again, we'd have a zero. Three times zero is zero. I get to subtract one minus zero is one. And I bring down my eight. Does three go into 18? Yeah, if you look, it's right here. Now I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six. I know some of you guys are going, six, Miss Alexander. It's six. I know, but we got to show everybody how we found it. So six times three, you guys, is 18. So here we go. 18. 18 minus 18 is zero. So when we're dealing with zeros, it's important we include them. Because if we didn't include these two zeros, we'd have three times 36 and that wouldn't work. And I'll show you. So this is, I'm going to quick do our original problem and then show you if we didn't keep those zeros. 3,006 multiplied by three. So this is what our answer is, okay? That's a zero and that's a nine. Now, if we would have left those zeros out, we would have ended up with 36. And if I'd multiply, I get 108. Did you see how that works? Because I do three times six, 18, three times three plus one is 10. So this is wrong. We needed those zeros, so we got the right answer. Remember, as you're doing this, to take your time, have fun with it, and remember to write those facts. If you don't know the facts, write the multiplication sentences out. It's okay. It gets you your answers, and you've got this. As you're doing it, to remember to smile, giggle, and wiggle. And I will talk to you later. Bye.